Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakta Murli of 7th of March, 1982. And the title is Benefits of Slowing Down the Speed of Thoughts. Today, Bab Dada has come to meet his children who constantly remember the One, those who belong to the One Father and none other. Those who are stable in a constant and steady stage and are embodiments of remembrance. Bab Dada is seeing the elevated lines of every child's birth of dying alive. In today's world, they tell souls their fortune, their virtues, and the greatness of their task by reading the lines on their palms. However, Bab Dada does not look at the lines on your palms. Baba is looking at the lines of the speed and stage of each of you children from your lips, eyes, and forehead. Usually, Someone tries to recognize another person from his face because those people are body conscious. They check physical things. Bab Dada sees an embodiment of remembrance from the forehead, the form of fire from the eyes, and the stage of being as loving and detached as a lotus from the smile on the face. The lines on the forehead of those who are constant embodiments of remembrance will show that they have a very slow speed of thoughts. They won't have any type of burden. They won't be under pressure. One thought will not give birth to many thoughts in one minute. Just as a physical illness of the body is examined by the pulse being felt, so too the lines on the forehead are a sign of the speed of thoughts. If the speed of thoughts is very fast, if thoughts constantly arise one after another, then through that extremely fast speed of thoughts, it is wasting the energy of your fortune. It is just like the power and energy of the body is also wasted by someone who speaks too quickly or who is constantly talking. What do you tell someone who is constantly talking, who talks too much and too loudly? Speak less and say it softly. In the same way, the speed of thoughts wastes spiritual energy. All of you children are experienced in this. What is the speed of thoughts when you have waste thoughts? And what is the speed of thoughts when you are churning knowledge? A lot of energy is wasted by one and energy is created by the other. When the speed of waste thoughts is fast, you never experience yourself to be an embodiment of power. Just as when you have lost all your physical energy, you say that your head has become empty. In the same way, such a soul experiences himself to be empty of all attainments. For physical energy, you are given an injection or a bottle of glucose. In the same way, a soul who is weak in spirituality has to follow this method of effort in his awareness. I am a master almighty authority. What points did Bab Dada relate in the worldly today? What is the break for waste thoughts? Try 
to apply a full stop. All these methods are ways of injecting yourself. With this injection of the right method of effort, they become powerful for some time, or they give themselves glucose through special programs of remembrance or through special gatherings or company. However, someone who has the habit of thinking too fast will for a little time experience himself to be powerful by filling himself with that power, but will then become weak again. This is why seeing the result from the lines on your forehead, Bhaktada is once again reminding you children of the Srimad. Don't allow the speed of your thoughts to become too fast. For spoken words you tell others, say two words instead of ten. And those two words should be powerful enough to carry out the work of 100 words. Similarly, this applies to the speed of thoughts. You should only have thoughts that are necessary. Thought is the seed that should be filled with the fruit of success. It should not be an empty seed that doesn't bear any fruit. This is known as constantly having powerful thoughts and not having wasteful thoughts. When thoughts are few, there will automatically be less and they will be powerful. Whereas when thoughts are wasteful, there will be more and there will be no attainment. Consider waste thoughts to be like a bamboo jungle. One automatically grows from another and they rub against one another. Then they catch fire and the jungle burns itself in the fire it has created by itself. In the same way, one wasteful thought rubs against another wasteful thought and creates a fire of one or other vice and causes you to distress. Therefore, let the speed of your thoughts slow down. Whether you call it the treasure or the special energy of this birth in which you have died alive, it is your thoughts. The basis of dying alive is pure thoughts. I am not a body, but a soul. This thought changed you from a shell into a diamond. I am a child of the Father from the previous cycle. I am an heir. I have all rights. This thought made you into a master almighty authority. So this is your treasure. This is your energy. And these are your thoughts. How do you use your special treasures? Recognize the treasures and energy of your thoughts and use them accordingly. For only then will all thoughts become practical and you will become an embodiment of total success. So, do you understand what lines the Father looked at today? Think less, that is, have thoughts that take a practical form. Those who have such lines will constantly be the emperors of the carefree land. Constantly speak elevated words through your lips. Elevated words are very few and can be counted. Just as great souls are very few and souls are many and 
the Supreme Soul is just one? Therefore, don't waste either type of energy, thoughts or words. A Mahavir and a Maharati is one who speaks elevated words, one who has thoughts in the intellect that take practical form. This is the sign of a Mahavir and a Maharati. Become such a Maharati that anyone who comes in front of you wants you, a great soul, to speak words of blessings for him or to have elevated thoughts for him. Words of blessings are always few. So, you are Maharati, Mahavir, deity souls, souls who are worthy of worship by the devotees. Constantly have thoughts and words that are filled with blessings. Speak words that are filled with nectar, not ordinary words. Acha. To those who make themselves and others constantly cool with their elevated thoughts, to those who constantly speak words filled with blessings, to those who have elevated lines of fortune, to the constantly elevated souls, great souls, deity souls, worthy of worship souls, Bhaktadas love, remembrance, and namaste. Avyat Bhaktada, meeting the doubly foreign children. All of you are the serviceable jewels who are constantly loving, cooperative, and servers of Bhaktada. Are you not? Therefore, each of you jewels is so invaluable that you are worthy to be placed in the showcase of the world. Bhaktada knows that you have come to belong to the Father, having climbed over very many various high walls. You climbed over the walls of religion, customs, and systems. You climbed so many such walls. However, because of the cooperation received from the Father, you crossed all those walls as though you just took a step. Nothing was difficult. It felt so easy that you understood that you belonged to the Father for all time. If you didn't all belong to the Father, how could so many centers have been open abroad? All of you had gone to your own places for the sake of service. Then the Father came and made you belong to Him. So, what do you think now? You are residents of Madhuban, are you not? All of you vote for Madhuban. Do you think that you are residents of Madhuban who have first gone on service? You have gone to the different places just as the children of Parath went to different places. Each child has a different part to play in service. You became instruments for service in order to awaken your equals. Bhaktada is very pleased to see the variety of flowers from the various places. Have you ever seen one tree that has such a variety of flowers? This one tree has so many different types of roses, different types of flowers, is always an embodiment of success. Why? You are souls who have been blessed 
by Bob Dada. Always remember three expressions. One, constantly maintain balance. Two, constantly remain blissful. Three, give blessings to everyone. There should be a constant balance of self-service and service of others. Your many talents are revealed through your balance. You will also become 16 celestial degrees complete by maintaining the balance of your intellect. Every act you perform will become an art. Your way of seeing will be an art because you listen to everything as a soul. In the same way, your way of speaking, your way of walking, etc. should all be an art. However, the basis of all of this is the balance of your intellect. To remain constantly blissful means to be an embodiment of bliss. The children of the ocean of bliss are embodiments of constant bliss. Acha, now we shall continue to meet. The confluence age is the great meeting, Mela, and so we shall constantly continue to meet. It is impossible for there not to be a day or a second without the father and the children meeting. You have such an experience, do you not? You are always combined with the father, are you not? No one has the courage to separate you from the combined form. No one has the strength to do this. Acha? Question. What does it mean to say that Baba is your whole world? Answer. When your intellect is drawn elsewhere, it is drawn to the world. There are two things in the world, people and things. The Father is the world, that is, whatever you can attain from all those people can be attained from the one Father. And whatever you can attain from everything else can also be attained from the Father. Therefore, the Father is your world, is he not? Your relationships are with the Father. Your connections is with the Father. Your sitting and moving around is with the Father. And so, the Father is your world, is he not? Bhat Dada meeting the Australian group. What thoughts did all of you have today? Did all of you bid farewell to Maya? Those who still want to think about this, raise your hands. If even now you say that you will think about it, then this too is a weak foundation. To think about it means there is a weakness. The business of Brahma Kumars and Kumaris is to become and make others into conquerors of Maya. Do you have to think about something that is your natural business? Just say it has already happened. Just like last year when you had the determination to open a center in many places and they were opened. Were they not? How many centers are there now? 17. You just had that thought and the thought was fulfilled. In the same way, have the thought to become a conqueror of Maya. Bob Dada constantly congratulates you children on your courage. Continue to make much more progress in service. All of you children 
are loved by Bob Dada. Bob Dada too cannot do anything without you companions. You are all very, very valuable. Acha, blessing, may you be victorious over a long period of time and be threaded in the rosary of victory by paying attention all the time. Those who are victorious over a long period of time become beads of the rosary of victory. In order to become victorious, constantly keep the Father in front of you. I have to do what the Father has done. At every step, the Father's thoughts should be the thoughts of you children. Whatever words the Father speaks should also be the words of you children. Only then will you become victorious. Attention has to be paid to this all the time. Only then will you attain the fortune of the kingdom for all time. Because as your effort, so your reward. When you make constant effort, you receive the fortune of the kingdom for all time. Slogan, to be attracted to any bodily being, even through your thoughts, means to be unfaithful. Om Shanti.